Here at the Phoenix Glass Studio. Right there, right where I was, hot, you know, bigger circle, bigger circle, bigger circle. There is definitely a master artist at work. And stop. Come look at that L7, that's awesome. Susan Gott is a modern day alchemist using heat and sand to create beautiful glass objects. But just as one of Gott's works is made from a combination of materials, time, and imagination to forge a unique piece of art, the same can be said about Gott's path in life. Susan Bowling Gott grew up in Virginia and Tennessee. Her earliest encounters with art came through paintings made by her grandmother that were hanging throughout the family home. But it could not be said that art was a primary focus in the Gott home. There was paintings around my house that I knew my grandmother had done. And I was always painting or making some little artsy craftsy thing constantly growing up. I'm definitely the only, the only artist of the family, so it, it is a little unusual in my family. It's not something that was necessarily, I was honed to do. It just kind of happened that way. God's passion for glass can be traced back to a series of family trips. I do remember as a child going to Blinko Glass Factory. I remember going there several times and sitting there and watching the glass blowers as a young child and just going, wow. Susan's love for art would take her to Radford University. She would also study at various craft schools. She came to Tampa in the 1980s to work in art education and quickly fell into the Ebor art scene. Eventually, Gott would get her master's degree from Kent State University. Tell me about how coming back to Tampa after graduate school, getting the studio set up or started, how did all of that take place? Um, it happened fairly quickly, actually, and uh, fortunately for me, career-wise, um, I was lucky enough to kind of find this house uh, sitting in this old neighborhood of Tampa at a very affordable price and it had the commercial zoning that I needed. It had the access to natural gas. I had researched all of these things and I also found out that I would be able to build a studio, build a building on the property. And with the help of friends and some good old-fashioned elbow grease, the Phoenix Glass Studio was born. Since God's first furnace went hot, she's been a woman on fire. Her sculptural glass works are featured in collections throughout Florida, including the Unitarian Church, the University of Central Florida, All Children's Hospital in St. Petersburg, and the city of Tampa. Some of her artwork can be found in museums as far as Austria and Armenia. Gott uses a casting process to create her glass sculptures. The formula for her spectacular structures is surprisingly simple. It's all about alchemy in the studio, the colors, the temperatures. I say it's all timing, temperature, and teamwork. The design, the mold making, the parts, the pieces, the casting process, the annealing process, which is the cooling process, the finish work involved, the grinding and polishing of the surfaces is incredibly labor intensive. Every step along the way. The outcomes of this process are slightly whimsical images with a mythical quality. Most of her images explore notions about connections, how we connect with humor, love, and even our own existence. God's work allows us to explore our own spirituality. But her pieces can serve a practical function too. But out of all of her accomplishments, she ranks motherhood and being a faithful daughter as her greatest achievements. Nice and full. Woohoo! God is tenacious, but to be a successful woman in this field, tenacity is a prerequisite. Running my own studio has definitely had its challenges. It's a very industrial process. It's not something that most people can do or would do, male or female, and it's uh, a very expensive undertaking. I didn't get here easily, and I, uh, if somebody really wants to learn glass, they have to have that stick with itness. It's not going to come easy. 
Gott is an alchemist, artist, and a woman on fire for her craft. Her fascination with glass won't burn out anytime soon. No other material has that transparency and quality of light. It's a beautiful thing unlike any other material. It can be transparent, translucent, sandblasted. It can have depth and reflect color. So I think that is what I keeps coming back to me. I, I'm sitting here and looking across the room and I see the, the sunlight coming through some of my castings on the other side of the room and that's what it is. It's that depth. 